praise the church has to return back to its respectful place. I said the church has to return back to its foundation. We have, we have built so many things, but we have forgotten God. I said we do a lot of stuff in church, but we have forgot the main source of the church. And the man of God said it's time for the church to return back to this first foundation. And the Bible do say, seek ye first the kingdom of God. The problem is we have forgotten about kingdom. We're stuck on agenda, but we're not stuck on kingdom. We're stuck on our will, but we're not stuck on the kingdom. And that's why things are not being added to our life. Because we're not seeking him first. Come on, but I promise you, if we get back to seeking him first, I know you love your pastor, but you can't seek him first. I know you love your bishop, but you can't seek him first. And much as I love my overseer, I can't seek her first. The Bible says, seek he first. Y'all, I said, seek ye first. Put God first. And all other things shall be added unto you. Look at somebody say, seek him first. Seek him first. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands. Give God praise. It is time for the church to return back. Too much stuff is going on in the church. And we're sweeping it under the rug. We're not dealing with the main issue. We're coming in, we're shouting over it, we're praise breaking over it, and we're still going home, still bound. We're still going home lame, still going home dealing with the same situations that we've been dealing with for years. But it's time to come to church and get delivered and healed for real, for real. Tell somebody it's time to get delivered for real. It's time. Come on, it's time to get healed for real. It's time to stop playing church. Too many people are hurting and people are going through hell and high water. But it's time to get delivered. It's time to get sanctified. It's time to get delivered for real. Look down your row and say, neighbor, it's time to get delivered for real. It's time. It's past time to get delivered for real. Stop playing church. Stop acting like everything is okay. It's time to get God for real. My God. It's time to get God for real. It's time to stop playing church. Come on, it's time to stop playing with God. Like his sanctuary is a playground. It's time to stop playing with God. Come out your mess and get real with him. Look at somebody say, come on, get real with him. Come on. I said, come on, get real with God. Hallelujah. Clap your hand. We're not going to mess with it. He done, he, done, he, done set, he done set the record straight. Amen. So we, 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 we thank the Lord tonight. Amen. For Pastor Therrington. He could have went on. I'd have been all right. I'm telling you. I'm not too hyped on preaching. Amen. He could have kept it going because it's time for the church to get back to its foundation. When we get back to the real church, I promise you, God will show up. We won't have to pump and prime you. God will come in and just enter the room. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord. Come on, clap your hands one more time for the man of God. Pastor Therrington, come on, clap your hands. Amen. To all of respectful, hallelujah. God wants to be glorified. I said God wants to be glorified. And we give God praise. Hallelujah. When we learn how to let God have his way and not go about our own way, that's where we'll see miracles, signs, and wonders show up in the church. Come on, look at somebody and say, let God have his way. Let God. It's not time for you to have your way, but it's time to let God have his way. 
I said it's time to let God have his way. When we cancel our program and follow his program, I promise you God will show up. Let's touch somebody and say, let him have his way. 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 Hey, let him have his way. Hey, let him have his way. If I don't preach, let God have his way. If I don't take a text, let God have his way. Let God do what he want to do while he's here. If you need something from God, you might as well get it while you're here. Hey, I never hold shy up. That's all. Well, hey, 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 hey. hey. Glory be to God. Let God have his way. I dare you to stand on your feet and lift your hands and say, God have your way. I said, I'll open up your mouth, lift your hands, and say, Lord, have your way. Have your way. Lord, God ain't talking. I said, I'll open up your mouth and say, Lord, have your way. Do what you want to do. I yield myself. Do what you want to do. God, come in and take over. God, come in and take over. Lord, have your way. Have your way. Lord, have your way. Have your way. Have your way. Sweep up and down every row. Come on. Some of y'all still looking cute. But I said open up your mouth. And say, Lord, have your way. Some of you still looking stuck. I said, open up your mouth. Don't look at me. Look to heaven. And say, Lord, have your way. Lord, do it in me. Come on. Lord, do it in me. Create in me a clean heart. Renew the right spirit within me. Lord, have your way. God, start with me first. Before I come asking for anything. Lord, do it for me first. Do it for me first. Do it for me. I can't speak for you. But I said, Lord, do it for me. Lord, I'm a yelling vessel. Do it for me. Hey, hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. You ought to feel something stirring up in you right about now. Hallelujah. You ought to feel something turning in your spirit. Hallelujah. Let the Holy Ghost come in. And you shall receive power when you receive the Holy Ghost. Oh. Hey. Hey. Yes, sir. Let God do it. Let God do it. Let God do it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God just waiting on y'all. Y'all stand looking at me, but God waiting on y'all. Some of y'all need God to move right now. Some of y'all need God to move for you to get back home. But why don't you get what you need while you're here? I said, why don't you get what you need while you're in the room? All right. God, you get the glory tonight. I say you get the glory tonight, God. God, you get the glory tonight. You get the glory, the honor, and the praise. You get the glory. I said you, he get the glory. I said, he get the glory. And the problem is, Elder Chambers, the problem is we feel like that God needs us. We come to church with these cute faces acting like God has done us a favor when we need God. 
So y'all got it confused. But I promise you, if you give him a chance, I promise you he'll work out every situation in your life. Every need you need met, he'll meet it. Tell somebody, say, I'm a living witness. I know God will do it. The same God did it last time, he'll do it again. I said the same God that did it last year, he'll do it this year. All right. I'm not going to make you get it. Get your Bibles. I'm not going to make you get it. If you don't want it for yourself, I can't make you get it. But that was the atmosphere right there, Corey, for God to come in and do what he wants. That was the right atmosphere for you to get everything you need from God. Lord have mercy. Get your Bibles. We're not going to be before you long. The Lord has already spoke. I want to get this word and get out your way. Give me about 15 minutes. We're going to get out your way. But that was a conducive atmosphere for God to do something right through that atmosphere. And we have to learn how to follow the spirit when he shows up, while he's moving and while he's in the room. We need to learn how to flow with him. Come on here. I said we need to learn how to flow with the spirit and let God have his way. Revelation is the third chapter. Amen. Get your Bible. Let's stand to our feet. Revelation is the third chapter. We're going to read verse number eight in your hearing. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody shout it again. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout it one more time. Hallelujah. hallelujah. I dare one more person to shout one more time. Hallelujah. I said, open up your mouth and say hallelujah. I said, open up your mouth and say hallelujah. Y'all are catch. I said, open up your mouth and say hallelujah. close you were to your next miracle if you knew how close you was to what you need from God hallelujah If you need God, you don't need no music. Above your head, there's music in the air. There must be a God somewhere. I'm not going to pump and prime you. Revelation is the third chapter. Verse number eight. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. hallelujah. Revelation is the third chapter. Verse number eight. The Bible says, I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door. Talk, somebody said, there's about to be a door that opened up for you. I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength.
There's about to be an open door. Ahad, God said, I'm about to open a door that no man can shut. The haters and the enemies can't do nothing about this door. When I open this door, no man gonna shut it. Look at somebody and say, there's an open door waiting on you. There's an open door. Whatever you need from God, there's an open door waiting on you tonight. So, I'm not going to be able to finish. I'm not going to be... But watch what the Bible says. It says, for thou hast, Darrington, just a little strength. You have a little strength. You about on E right now. He said, not only do you have a strength, but he said, I'm going to open the door because you have kept my word. And you have not denied my name. Can I read it, Farrington Chambers? Can I read it from the Message Bible? I'm not going to be able to preach it like I want because the, I feel something creeping up my right leg right about now. But watch what this one verse say in the Message Bible. The Message Bible says, Farrington, I've seen what you've done. I've seen, Chambers, what you've done. Now see what I'm about to do. Did y'all catch that? He said, I've seen Apostolic House of Deliverance what you have done. Now you're about to walk into a season where you're going to sit back and watch what I can do for you. Well, I feel like running around Cheat Road right about now. He said, I have opened a door before you that no one can slam shut. Watch what it says, Darrington. You don't have much strength now. He said, I know this. You use every little bit you had left to keep my word. You did not deny me when times were rough. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to finish preaching this. I'm done almost anyway. But I just stopped by Apostolic House of Deliverance to prophesy to this man of God in this house that it's about to pay off this time. I don't know who needs to hear that. But God sent, hey, Tabo Shia, that God sent me to Durham to tell somebody that it's about to pay off for you this time around. Won't you look at somebody and say, God is about to pay you off. He's about to pay you back for all the hell you've been through, for all the tears you don't cry, for all the nights you don't stayed up. God is about to pay you back. I wish I had three people who will open up your mouth and say, God is about to pay me back. You about to enter compensation season. God about to compensate. I wish I had somebody. I said, God is about to compensate somebody for all the hell you had to endure. God is about to compensate somebody for all the tears you had to cry. God said, I'm about to open. I wish I had somebody who would say, God is about to open up a door that no man can shut. God is about to open. It's about to pay off for you. 
You ain't struggle for nothing. You ain't cry for nothing. You ain't been to hell and back for nothing. But God said, I'm about to pay you back with the little strength you got left. God said, I'm about to pay you. I need somebody to open up their mouth. I need to have trouble to behind you. God said, he's doing it for you, Corey. God said, every need, hey, hey, every need you need, man. God said, I'm going to do it for you right now. I'm pulling you out some stuff right now. I'm doing it. I'm opening up a door for you right now. In the name, I need somebody. Hey. I need some hey, shot I will hold shot of behind you. Hey, 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 how about hold shot? Hey, how to be hold shit cut about God I'm doing it, how to be hold shot. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Corey, God said it's yours. Hey, God said it's yours. Hey, God said it's yours, Corey. God said it's yours, Corey. I'm opening up a door. Shut it up behind you. God said, I'm opening up doors tonight. I'm doing it. I'm going to show you. God said, I'm doing it right now. I'm hitting the hurt right now. I'm opening up the door for you right now. Hey, God said, I'm doing it. God said, I'm doing it for you right now. I'm doing it for you. The door you need open, I'm doing it. God said, I'm doing it for you right now. Every tear you cry, every night you stayed up, God said, I'm compensating you right now. I'm giving it all back to you. In the name of the Lord, I'll show you somebody. to give somebody a high five and say neighbor there's about to be 
an open door because you held on when times got rough. You held on when things got tough. You held on when storms started up. But God said, you've been faithful over a few things. Now you are ruler over many. Lean over to your neighbor and say, neighbor, it's about to pay you off. It's about to pay you back. I prophesy over this house that the rest of this year gonna be the payoff year. I said the rest of this year gonna be the payoff. God is about to pay you off. God is about to pay you back. God is about to compensate you. Get ready. Get set. Let's go. You got an open door waiting on you. You got an open heaven waiting on you. So praise God all over this house for the open door. I said praise him. There's an open door. There's an open door. There's an open door. You got a little bit of strength. But God said, I got that. I'm at it. Look at somebody and say, he's adding strength right now. I'm done. I can't finish. But I want to prophesy to Ahad tonight that God, mama, is sending strength to where you are weak. I said apostolic house of deliverance. God said I'm adding strength. I gotta go. My time is up. He said, Chambers, I've set back and seen what you've done. He said, now it's your time and season to sit back and watch what I can do. Some of y'all been waiting for a long time. You've been patiently waiting on God to move in the area that you need him to move the most. But I come to Durham to tell somebody that he's about to show up and see, and you're going to see what he can do for you. Tell somebody, say, you're about to see what God can do. God is still able to do exceedingly, abundantly. God is still able. He said, because you did not give up, I have set before you an open door. I heard God, Therrington, and you know me, I don't prophesy, I don't claim to be a prophet. I run from that. But while I was standing here, and by your response would tell me if it's for your house or the house down the street. But he said, this is the season this season that you're about to embark upon. He said, this is the season where you are about to enter to a season of approval. That may not be your praise. That may not be what you needed, but I just come to talk to about three people tonight. God said, I'm shifting you from a season of denial 
to a season of approval. The last denial you had, you ain't going to have that denial no more. Because you're about to enter a season of approval. Look at somebody and say, God is about to approve me. God about to send approval my way. Go back and try it again. You're going to be approved this time. Go back to the bank. You're going to be approved. Go back to the realtor. You're going to be approved. Go back to the doctor. You're going to be Tell somebody, go back again. You're going to be approved this time. Because God is opening up a door that no man can shut. God is opening up a door that no man can close. Look down your row and say, neighbor, approve, 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 approve. Don't be selfish. Look down your row and say, approve, approve, approve. God about to approve you. God about to settle you. Approve. Approve, approve, approve. I'm done. Damn, I know y'all call me back anytime I'll come preach. But tonight won't the night. Chambers, I apologize. Mama, I apologize. But God said he about to approve some people. Next week, you're going to get that call you've been waiting on. He's going to approve you. You're going to go back. You're going to get that answer you've been waiting on. He's going to approve you. Approve. Approve. Look at somebody and say approve. Approve. I don't know what you've been waiting on, but God said I'm about to approve you. You don't had enough denials. You don't had enough denies. But God said this is your season where I'm about to. Mother, approve, approve. I dare to lift your hands and thank God for the approval. I dare to open up your mouth and give God praise for the approval. When you go to the mailbox, you're going to see an unexpected check because approval. You're going to check your account. You're going to see money. You don't know where it came from. Approval. You're going to go to the doctor and the doctor report will be changed. Approval. Just tell somebody, approve, approve, approve. I'm done. I'm done. Isaiah 61 and 7, Therrington. You will preach it better than me sometime this year. He said, for your shame you shall have double. Did y'all catch that in the spirit? He said, for your shame, ye shall, that word shall means guarantee, it gotta happen. Ye shall have double for all the struggles and trouble you don't have to experience. You go to the last part of the text, Darrington, you were exegeted better than I can because you've been to theologian school, praise God. But he said, at the end of the verse, Chambers, he said, not only will I give you double, but I'm going to give you everlasting joy for the rest of your life. I don't know who's been in a defeated season in this house. But God said, you about to enter a season of joy the rest of your life. You will not be disappointed. You will not be depressed. You will not be sad. 
For God said, I'm giving you everlasting joy for the rest of your I said, he giving you everlasting joy for the rest of your Touch somebody and say, for the rest of my life, I shall be happy. For the rest of my life, I shall be satisfied. For the rest of my life, I shall be happy. For the rest of my life, I shall be pleased. I done had too many sad days. I done had too many lonely days. I done had too many depressed days. But God said from this day forward, you're going to have everlasting joy. You cried your last tear yesterday. So somebody said, you shall receive double. I'm done. My time is up. But it's about to pay off for you. It's about to pay off for you. You've been through too much for God to come through and see about you. You've been through too much hell. And that's how you know, Therrington, that God is about to bless because of all the hell. See, that's why some of y'all sitting there looking cute because y'all ain't going through nothing. Y'all sitting there look like the chosen frozen because you ain't going through no struggle. But I just want to talk to about three people who are going through a struggle right now. That God said because you held on through the struggle, I promise you at the end of your struggle, I'm going to step in and open up. A because you held on, I'm going to step in and show you what I can do for you. But somebody say, God about to do it. He about to do it. Any day now, God going to do it. Y'all, I said, I wish you would catch it. I said, any day now, God going to do exactly what he said. I day to prophesy and say, any day now, any day now, God going to do it. Any day now, God going to turn that thing around. Any day now, God going to shift that situation. Any day now, God gonna make a way out of no way. Any, I said any day now. I said any day now. I didn't take about thirty seconds and give God a praise, like you know. Any day now, God gonna show up for me. I need somebody to start dancing, like you know. Any. In a day now, God going to show up. In a day now, God going to do exactly what he promised me. In a day now. Everybody clap them hands. In a day now, he going to do it. In a day now.